welcome back to the channel. Glad you stopped by. Uh, today we got another phone case that we're going to take a look at, and it is a battery case for your iPhone XS Max. For something that does a few things. One is, does provide a level of protection. I'm not looking for something that I can drop off a skyscraper and, and have it survive. You know, I just want it, if it falls out of my pocket or falls off a table, you know, I want the phone to not break. So I'm looking for some level of protection, but I want to balance that with thinness. So I'm also looking for uh, less bulk, a thin case, something that doesn't feel like it's heavy in my hand, something that doesn't make the phone feel bigger in my hand. Doesn't make it feel wider, doesn't make it feel taller. You know, I want to get as thin as I can uh, um, with some protection, with enough protection still in place. So I was recently traveling. You know, I was going to be in the airport for most of the day, then a long car ride, then I had a meeting that evening. So I needed my phone to be charged and ready to go um, all day long. So I walked, I went on Amazon and I started looking at different battery case options. You know, obviously there's the Apple battery case that's $130, super expensive. If you got the money to plop down on a battery case and you want something that's gonna work really well with your iPhone, then definitely consider the Apple case. But that's not what I'm looking for in my case. So what I'm looking for in my case is something a little more affordable. So $35 is right in line without looking to spend. I've actually spent more than $35 on a phone case before that doesn't have a battery. So I expected to spend a little bit more for something with a battery. I know that there's some cases that run 70 or $80. Um, so I thought, you know what, 35 bucks, I can plop that down. If this breaks in a few months, I'm not out, you know, $100 or more. But it hasn't. It's actually held up really well. It's worked really well. I really enjoyed using this as my battery case. Okay, there's a few reasons that uh, this case is, uh, that I would recommend this case. Number one is a lot of battery cases add width and height to your phone. Um, so they, some of them have to put the electronics that control the battery kind of below at the bottom of the, the case. And so that extends the height of your, of your overall phone or the feel of the phone because you have that extra electronics area kind of down below. This one doesn't do that. So this integrates the electronics on the back I think it's maybe close to the bottom is kind of where they are, but the battery is a little bit raised above that. Um, so it, it does not make your phone feel any taller than it does on a, within a typical case or any wider than it does in, within a typical case. So it's, it's about the same size as a standard silicone case. The Apple silicone case is, is comparable to this in terms of the amount of thickness it's adding to the sides and to the top and, and the bottom of your case. So I love that fact, number one, is when I'm holding this with my hand, this doesn't, this doesn't add any bulk or doesn't make the case feel wider than it typically is, or the, the phone feel wider than it, than it typically is. So it's a nice, thin silicone case around your phone. That's number one. Number two, it does add some bulk to the back. Now, obviously, it adds some thickness to the back. You, you're not gonna get away from that. You know, you're adding a, a battery onto the back of your phone. So it's gonna, it's gonna make your phone thicker. But I like the way this phone kind of balances that thickness. So there's not a weird hump on the back. You know, it's not super thick. I've seen some battery cases that, that can be super thick. It's a pretty streamlined design, in my opinion, um, for, you know, adding an, an extra battery to the back of your case. So, so you know, it doesn't, it does add a little bit of weight, but when I'm putting this in and out of my pocket, I mean, it doesn't, it slips in and out very easily. Um, and it doesn't feel like I just, through something huge and heavy, you know, in my pocket. So from a, you know, design of the case itself, they did a really good job. Buttons are super clicky. Uh, no problem clicking on the buttons. You have, you know, power button over here. You have uh, volume up and down here. Plenty of room to get to the mute rocker over here on the side. Um, it does, you know, obviously if you're setting this down on the table, because of that extra thickness of the battery, you don't have to worry about scratching your camera. Now, if you do notice, kind of towards the, and we'll get a closer up look here in a second, but towards the, the top of the case, the camera's a little more flush or a little more flat to the case than other cases. There's not really a lip around the camera except for in the back. But if you're just setting it down straight, there's no problem. You're not gonna hit your camera on the table. There's a very small lip around the front, so I'm not gonna say it's a, it's a huge lip, 
Um, but it's enough to where if you're gonna put this on the table, you're gonna be okay. It's not something that I'd go thrown around or slamming around or anything like that. Obviously, you've got a battery and extra electronics in here, so you don't want those connections to become loose. But um, in terms of kind of protection for your phone, you know, I think you're gonna get um, okay protection. I haven't drop tested this, haven't seen any videos where it's been drop tested, so I can't speak to you, can't, you know, how high can you drop your phone up and it still be protected. But I will say this, for general use, you know, I think you're gonna be, I think you're gonna be okay, but still, you know, be careful. Try not to drop your phone. And, you know, as always, use a, use a uh, glass screen cover on your phone if you wanna protect the front of your phone. There's no better way to do that. So the other things I really like about the case, a couple cool things here is number one, if you notice, on the bottom of the case, it takes a lightning connection. So you can use your lightning cable to charge your phone and your case. Now I've, I've traveled around with a battery pack and a mini USB cable, you know, and having to manage those extra things, just, you know, it's a pain. So what I like about this is I can throw this case on very easily. I can use the same lightning jack I would carry with me anyways, or the lightning cable, so I don't have to carry any extra cables with me. Um, and I can plug it right in the phone and, and start charging. Uh, the other thing is it has 4,000 milliamp battery in the back. So that means you're gonna get more than a full additional charge for your phone. So you're starting your day off with two full phone charges um, and that's gonna last you all day. So I, you know, I get to the end of the day and my phone is basically fully charged um, still, or mostly charged. You know, there's this, this make sure that you have enough power to do some heavy, you know, video watching, internet browsing, game playing, um, and make it through the day um, with your phone without having to, you know, hover around a charger at the airport or the, you know, the, the desk that has 16 people crowded around it all with their, their plugs uh, in the outlets that have been so overly used, overly used that the plugs barely fit in. So super convenient. Uh, works really well. The way it works is you just, you know, I'll, I'll take it in and out here in a second, but there's a power button, you know, on the back of the phone. There's four uh, LEDs that light up. And so that shows you how much charge you have left. So I've got four lit up, so I'm basically still at close to 100% charge. You know, as those begin to tick down, um, you can kind of see 75, 50, 25% left. And when you plug the phone in, just hold the power button down for a few seconds, it comes on and it, and it stays on for as long as you have a charge in the battery case. Take it on and off, pretty easy. You just kind of fold back the top here and just slide it out like so. Or fold the top back again and then slide it in. And if you notice, there's the power, I'm sorry, the lightning um, connector down at the bottom of the case. And that sorry, just, I couldn't. Thanks Siri. And that just plugs in to your phone and there you go and then you've got the extra lightning port at the bottom so we're gonna take a close-up look at the case um, so you can get a really good perspective because i kind of want to do two things in these videos one i want to give you my my thoughts on the phone why you should buy or why you maybe shouldn't buy the phone uh, or the case thoughts on the case and then secondly i want to take a close-up look so you can spend we can spend some time um, and really see kind of how the case looks on your phone. A lot of times when I watch reviews, you know, you get quick B-roll shots where people are kind of, you know, quickly showing diff the case in different settings a lot. A lot of times there's a focus on the background and, and that doesn't really give me enough. So I want to give you enough information to where you can, uh, you can make a good decision on is this the case you want to buy or not. So as always, I'll say this again, love your feedback. How can I make these videos better for you? So let's take a closer look. All right, so let's take a look at the case. So pretty cool. Um, there's the back of the case. Let me turn it back on. So I will say this, you do have to hold the power button down for like a second and a half or so. And then you'll feel, like I have, I have the phone on vibrate, so you'll feel the phone vibrate um, to kind of turn it on. But, so there's the See the uh, LED indicator, light indicator. So there's the power button. So there's the bottom of the phone. So you can see it is thicker. But I will say this: I mean, you're adding a battery, so you have to expect some thickness. But this does a really good job of minimizing the amount of thickness um, 
that it's adding to the phone. Here's the, the camera. So you can kind of see the, get it from the side. Just the camera hump. Lightning, or is the heat rocker here? Easy to get into. I mean, it's not the largest meat rocker cutout, but it works. There's the volume up and down buttons. You can hear those clicking. So those are those are really clickable. Same thing on the power button. Super clicky power button. Works really nice. Um, let's see, you see the lip around the phone, so you can kind of look at the top here, see the lip around the phone a little bit. So it's not as raised as other cases, and it looks like the corners are a little bit more raised than the side. So down here is a little more flush to your phone, but it does get raised in the corners. So I'm not going to say this is the most protective case in the world, but <clears throat> it, does, it does provide a little bit of protection. Some more time here on the front. Cutouts for your speaker grills, charging port. There's the side profile. So, you know, it, it, it's about, I don't know if it's quite kind of two phones of thickness, probably maybe a phone and almost a second phone there, but there may be a phone and a half, maybe half a phone's worth of thickness to your phone, but I will be honest, the, the big thing is when you're holding it from the sides, you know, it doesn't feel um, bulkier because you can see right here, I mean, the, the case is a pretty thin case. So actually, let me take the phone out for you. So as I said before, you kind of fold that silicone back at the top. Sometimes it's easier to pull out than others. You just kind of slide it out of the phone. There, you do the same thing. So you pull the silicone back, really easy to slide in. You just kind of slide it in there. And there's a connecting to the charging port goes right in there. So let's take the phone out real quick. And there's the inside of the case. There's some instructions for you. This kind of shows you how to slide it in and out. You know, if that's pretty, pretty soft there. Here is kind of the inside bottom of the case. You know, with the, this is a little flexible here, so there's kind of a piece of plastic down there that's, you know, I could see where if you're rough with the case, you could probably bend that fairly easily. So I'm not, so you do have to be a little bit careful with it, but, but as I mentioned before, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, and then you can kind of see how thin the sides are. I mean, the sides are not very thick at all. So look, $35. You get 4,000 milliamps of extra battery for your phone. It's gonna last you all day long. If it breaks, you're just out $35. You're not plopping down $130 or $80 that I've seen from some more expensive name brands in terms of battery cases. Solid all around case. I'll put a link in the description um, if, you'd like to, if you'd like to pick it up on Amazon. And uh, yeah, that's about it. 
So if you have any questions, you know, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you and answer them as best as I can. Um, up next, we're going to be reviewing the D brand grip. So I unboxed that uh, a month ago or so. And so we're actually gonna do the review now. I've really enjoyed using the grip. I've got three different um, skins that I've used on the case. And so I wanna kinda talk about my experience with the uh, D, -band, D brand grip. So subscribe um, so that you can uh, you know, you can see that, that video in your stream when it comes out. Thanks guys. All right. Have a good one. I appreciate you watching. Give me a subscribe if you're, uh, if you're up for it and I'll see you later. Peace.